Nitro Lamp Tutorials here, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make a brush preset. Here's the original thing that I made, and then saved it as a brush preset, so that whenever I put it as a brush, where's my brush, alright, here, I just clicked and it did that, and this is me dragging it, but then I'm going to show you how to adjust it, so that it can do this, so whenever you click and drag, it'll scatter it at different opacities and angles. And I think that's really cool and a cool addition to whatever piece you're working on. So let's get started. We're going to go to File, New. And then you can have your height and width at whatever you want. I'm just going to do 800 by 500. You can name it whatever you want. And for this one, we're going to do Background Contents to Transparent. And then click OK. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And then we're going to take our polygon tool. And if you're not sure how to get to that, then you can right click and go down to polygon tool. And we're going to make a triangle. So for sides, click on three sides. And over here, make sure you have this one selected. You can either do this one or this one. With this one, it'll just make the triangle black. And then with this one, it'll keep the pass so you can change it if you wanted to so I'm just going to do this and you're going to click and drag and you can just put it at whatever angle you want, it doesn't really matter you can keep it straight or you can not it's, you know, it doesn't matter too much alright, you'll end up with this so then you come over here and you can right click on this and click rasterize layer and if you don't do that then it will mess it up later so make sure you do that I'm going to go to edit, define brush preset, and you can name it whatever you want, triangle, and click OK. And once you have that, you can go to your brush again, and come down here, and find your triangle. It should be the last one that you made, or the last one on the list. Alright, now you have it. So whenever you click, it will be your triangle you can drag and it'll look like that but I don't like the way that drags so we're gonna make a new layer and delete that one just so we have a new layer to work with now you want to bring the diameter down a little bit so it's not so big and you have more room to work with and you gotta click on this box right here for some of you it might be over next to this but for me and probably most of you it's gonna be over here alright and you're gonna check shape dynamics you're going to increase the size jitter. Oh, I should reset this. Because I made it earlier. Alright. So this is what it should look like whenever you first open it. So you're going to check shape dynamics. And increase the size jitter all the way. And the minimum diameter. You're going to keep at zero. And the angle jitter you can put to 100. Or anywhere. You can really put it anywhere you want. But I think over 50 looks best. So I'm just going to put it around 65. And scattering, you're going to put the scatter all the way up to 1000% and the count down at 1. The count, if you put it any higher, then it looks too jumbled and not as good. So 1, you get a lot of space in there and I think it looks really good. And after you do that, you're going to check other dynamics. And click on it also. And then the opacity jitter, you can put to around 50. And then the flow jitter, you can put to around 20. I did 52 and 19%. Or if you wanted to, you can lower that all the way and put out the opacity jitter. This way, it keeps one triangle all the way black to all the way white. But the way I had it, it has the darkest it is is a little bit faded instead of all the way black. Alright, and now you're done. You can minimize that. So now whenever you draw your triangle, it'll scatter other triangles behind it. And you can also change your size, and it'll change the size of the triangles that it draws. So there we have it. Thank you for watching. I'm going to be putting up a tutorial soon on how to make 
a watermark. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share wherever you like sharing things. And subscribe for more. Thank you.